Candy Melon Head. Can I borrow your surfboard? Try the door, Fred. Well, I don't know how much surfing I can do on a drawbridge door, but I'll give it a whirl. Ah, my door! Yeah! Oh, well, I didn't really feel like surfing anyway. What have you done to my door? You told me to use it as a surfboard, Mr. Greenrind. <laughs> or should I call you Mr. Forgetful? I need my door, Fred. It makes me feel safe. It keeps any old nut from just wandering into my house. And by any old nut, I mean you. Well, if you want a new door, you're in luck. I know just the two guys who can put one in. <gasps> Slip and slide. They're the two best construction workers on the island. Plus, we're also good at building stuff. Yes, well, I appreciate the offer, but... Looks like we'll have to use a TNG joint for the bearing header. Well, I'd recommend a cantilevered void with cap flashing and a metal sway brace. Well, I certainly am impressed. I told you. <laughs> so what do you say, Mr. G? You want us to put in that new, uh, um, flat thingy? Uh, with the twisted handle? You mean door. Uh, oh, yeah. Just say the word and we'll build you a brand new... Um, uh, uh, no, no, I think I'll just stick with the open air, freeze my rind off in the winter look. Sounds like Mr. G needs some more convincing. Why don't you show him your house? Better yet, we'll show him our house. <laughs> Come on, Mr. G. Fine. But I don't see how some banana shack in the middle of the jungle is going to change my mind. Sweet cling peaches! It's a palace. And that's just the bathroom! Well, boys, I'm sold. Great! Let's go put in Mr. G's. Uh, one more time, please. Oh, it's called a door. You know, Fred, after seeing the Banana Brothers Mansion, I feel a lot better about hiring them. <gasps> My cabana! It's ruined! Uh, it's all Slat's fault. He hit the forward button. Only because I thought the F stood for fish sticks. My home? I have nowhere to live. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. G. We'll build you a brand new cabana. How long will it take to build? Six seconds. Eighty years. I think I'm doomed. Cheer up, Mr. G. You can stay at my place till your house is ready. I am doomed. <laughs> Have it built by sundown. No matter what, I need a new house by the end of the day. Okie doke. We'll get right on it. sake, this is the fifth lunch break they've taken today. Fred, don't you see the problem here? I sure do. Why aren't you guys eating at your new restaurant? You built a restaurant? Hey, the people in our new office building gotta eat somewhere. I told you to finish my house by sundown. Mr. G. I suppose you built a football stadium too. Mr. G, your house is finished. It is? Well, don't just sit there. Let's go take a look. There it is. <gasps> well, I'll be. <laughs> it's magnificent. It's stunning. It's also very, very small. It's perfect for our snail friend. Get your toothbrush, Mr. G. The sleepover is on. It's not sundown yet. Slip and slide. Rebuild my cabana ASAP. I want to steer. Foreman Fred here. I need your approval on this list of items. What are they? Building materials? No. 
Stuff for us to do at the sleepover. Oh, slip and slide might still finish my house in time. I still have till sundown. Come on, son. Go down faster. Yay, that's it. Oh, please be done. Oh, please be done. Oh, please be done. Oh, they did it. They rebuilt my cabana. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Well, we sort of had to rush the plumbing and wiring and stuff. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. Let's turn on the lights. Home sweet home. Well, that's okay. I'll just use the lamp. Well, no biggie. Let's test out the sink. Switch off the fan! Run for your life! She's gonna blow! So, what do you want to do first, Mr. G? Play video games? Break piñatas? Or say goodnight to my gooey friend from Pluto? <laughs> Oh, an alien! Oh, oh, oh. oh, look, Fred. I've had a really long day. If you don't mind, I'd just like to go to sleep. Are you sure? Positive. Okay. But can we at least have a snack together from my snack bot? What is a snack bot? Hi, snack bot. Hello, Fred. Can we have some milk and cookies? New cookie being good night kiss. Hmm? New cookie good night kiss. Time for pudding, time for pudding, time for pudding. Look, Fred, I really just want to go to sleep. <sighs> What in the name of Cherry Cobbler are you doing? Oh, I always shine my head in a bowling ball polisher before I go to bed. Ta-da! <laughs> Fred, miniature farm animals are floating over your head. Yeah, I always count sheep before I go to sleep. just went to sleep. Oh, didn't I tell you? Coconut sleep in two-second bursts. Now I gotta get ready for bed again. Ta-da! Me, 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 me. He hates me. He must. Why else would he do this to me? He just pretends to like me so he can bait me and annoy me. You know something, Mr. G? I never told you this before, but you're like a father to me. Huh? All of our adventures together have meant so much to me. Like the time I rescued you from those cantaloupables. Or the time I nursed you back to health after you caught my cocoa cold. And let's not forget about the time you fell in the volcano. You're the best, Mr. G. I'm so glad you're here. You know something, Fred? I'm glad I'm here, too. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Good night, Fred. Yes, Mr. J. Me, 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 me. Awake! Me, 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 me. Awake! <gasps> Fred? Out here, Mr. G. We're just finishing up your cabana. Oh, sure they are. <gasps> it's beautiful. <laughs> Good as new, Mr. G. Come take a look. And fix the plumbing and wiring. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, thanks, boys. You did a great job. It's all back to the way it was. Actually, we added one small improvement. Oh, improvement? A snack bot. 
Oh! 